All right, let's Madden here in the game of not only the day, but probably the entire week. Young Kiv and Drini, part five, essentially. It's like Rocky Five, as we'll have at it in the ring right now. And my broadcast partner, Michael Skimbo, you saw it, $295,056. I got the sense if you had only made 56, forget the 295 large. You'd still be having a, a great time investing in all this. As there's a handoff to Gale Sayers, he goes nowhere. Uh, man, I don't, I don't know, Josh. I'm pretty competitive, man. I want to win. That's how <laughs> I've been all my life playing sports, going to state semi. I never went to the state finals. Been to two semifinals in baseball, one in, you know, basketball. Never won the big one, so it felt great finally, you know, winning a big one here. But back on this game, you're, you're, as you see, Drini's gonna get that hot route master pass game on second down. Oh, dangerous right there, but Gail Sayers on that little swing route, and Eli Manning is able to thread the needle. Very fortunate to hang on to that pass. Look for another pass right here. These hot route master, look at these abilities. You know, Eli Manning, he can put any wide receiver tied in on any route. He loves this two post route. It's so hard to guard both. He flings it, and a tippy toe catch on the sidelines. There's John Ross. I, I always call the first drive a fill-out drive. If you see Tim right there, Dennis in the heat, you know, he's going to save it for that down when he knows Drini's probably going to pass the ball to just send the dogs. Drini had such a quick start against Mo. He did that on defense with a pick six. And we got to put it out there, Drini, just like a lot of competitors in this field, it really has been defense first and offense a distant second. And speaking of defense, hey, Gail Sayers gets wrestled down. Uh, it's just right back to Kibbs' defense that Taylor May just makes plays. Even though he's not as greedy because Drini can pass the ball, so he's not shooting the gap as soon as he snaps the ball. But he is still making plays with that Taylor Mays. Taylor Mays is Taylor made right now with that uh, card that he's rocking. A guy that is just great against the run. We've seen a pick six from him today as well. There's a timeout taken early. Okay, and uh, so just some next level Madden. I don't know if he meant to do it or not. I'm going to watch and he is. Just next level for the casuals at home and pros. He has this hot route master. He's automating out this Ingram so he gets to a wide receiver and now he can put him on a certain route. Now he's going to motion him back in at tight end so he stays on that route. You see that post route that he's on. That's exactly why he did that. It's just, it's just brilliant to do stuff like that. And Ingram running deep. Can Manning find him? No, we'll go underneath, and it bonks right off the helmet of Josh Cribbs, and that was on third down. It's now fourth and seven. It's very unfortunate. I mean, that he didn't throw the ball too early. He actually threw it right on time. If you want to see your wide receiver at least get, catch the ball, uh, you did, I mean, so much bad things can happen if Young Kibbs, the defender, just comes out and just snacks and takes it for six. And here we go, a huge fourth down. I'm actually shocked with Drini being a defensive player, even though he knows he's going to be in the next round, going for this on fourth and seven. Uh, Drini has only spent about 40% of his cap on offense. He is tilted to defense, kind of leaned into that. But now he's got to find seven yards of offense to keep this opening drive alive. Again, concurrently, just, the game between Mills and Moe going on. We'll update you on that a little bit later. Eli Manning surveys, has time, floats it, tippy toe, oh, move those chains. I'm going to say this about this Madden. If you have an escape artist, you love throwing these rollout corner routes. But if you're a guy that has like an Eli Manning who really isn't that mobile and just stays in the pocket, Drini's favorite route combos will be a deep post route with a backside drag or a backside slant motion over. Or sometimes, <laughs> my boy W calls it the X, he's going to have two post routes at the same time. And earlier this week, Drini tweeted out the phrase speed kills and made it a point to get Gale Sayers on his team to try to turn corners like that. He almost did there at second and one. This is typical Drini fashion. He's mixing in the run. He's mixing in the pass. He's not getting one dimensional at all. Second and one, you can see he's going to pass the ball. Most would run. Eli Manning trying to find some time and just wings it out of bounds with a flag down. It's a, a super costly. It's intentional grounding. It, you just can't take it right there. It's a great pocket. He had a guy over there, threw the ball away. Sometimes this year in Madden, even though he's over there, they're going to call intentional grounding. That's what happened right there. They, they 
you know, he just felt like he wasn't throwing it to anyone open. If I'm draining, you got to be safe. You already, you, you just, you got to hand the ball off and just get three. With Sam Ficken as his kicker, yeah, 55 would have been really borderline. You hand it off to Sayers. Now it's a 50-yard attempt. Uh, look at that wind is blown against him. And he punches it up and through anyway. Knifing it through that wind. It's a 3-0 score. And the way it's been going today, Skimbo, I mean, 3-0 kind of feels like you're up 21-7 or something like that. It's just been so little offense today. Yeah, and we'll see. This will be Kiss' first time on offense versus Draining's defense. Draining likes to play defense different than everyone else. Um, so, so far for Kiff, he's gone against a guy that blitzes his whole team. He sends even his coach at you sometimes with Jay Mills. And then and then you had Mo, who had these two edge threat abilities. So he's just really just rushing three or four and just wanted them to get a shed. And now you're going against Draining's defense, which is unique. It's more unique than anyone. And, and, and look, he, he saw the success Jay Mills had, and he looks like he's sending everyone here. Trini with a flag down here. Will rush in on RG3, who's just going to pop it out of bounds. Yeah, it's just, it was an offside, though. The flag went up. Someone was lined up in the neutral zone. He snapped it. Flag goes up. It's a free play. If you're Kiv right there and you see there's a flag, don't roll out and throw it away. You know it's offsides. you got to give your wide receivers a chance. Yeah, get that free shot. Now, remember, Drini had a pick six right away against Mo. First time the ball went in the air and stayed in bounds. Little different this time as Torrey Holt will nudge his way right to that yellow line. And that is going to be a first and ten. Now, I'm not going to say, I I'm going to say, Drini is definitely not an awful like, man, or defensive player. He's the best ever. But he's trying to run a defense. I don't know how many reps he has, but he's trying to run Jay Mills' defense. And when someone comes up with the defense, they tend to just have a little bit different sauce on it. So I wonder if Drini has those secret agreements as he's dropping back in coverage. That's a great way to put Come it. Come on! Let's Looking go! for Krebs up over the top! Dot! It's just... It was unbelievable pocket right there. I mean, you Good didn't stop. send the dogs. This is what I'm talking about. j -Mo sends the dogs every play out of that. Trini tried to disguise the coverage and had a broken coverage on that top right side. Kiff and Kiff found it at the last second. So Kiff, who was shut out in his first game, had to muscle his way to 13 points in his second game. Strikes for seven pretty much right away here. That deep bomb. And it is a 7-3 lead. Let's take a look at it here, Skimbo. I know you're going to want to slice it up for us. Oh, look at the top right. It's a broken coverage. That's his user. He had a hard flat or a cloud or something on the right side. Wide open play. It took a while, but he found it. Great job by Young Kid for not being late. Josh Cribbs, a former Golden Flash of Kent State, flashes right into the end zone. Guy that had only seven career receiving touchdowns in his NFL career. Eight return touchdowns. In fact, two in one game against the Chiefs at one point. Cribs to the crib to make it 7-3. And Manning in the coverage. He finds Engram. It was, uh, I mean, great job. Draney, I mean, I'm really impressed with this pocket. He felt the little pressure coming off the left. Rolled to the right and threw that corner route right to Ingram. Great read, great catch. End of the first quarter. Kiv, seven. Draney, Three. How cool is Kiv? He's rocking that black turtleneck. He's got all that hair. There is not one fleck of dandruff on either shoulder. That is the coolest guy I've ever seen. It, it is impressive. I look like I look a like a snow globe. Right? You have no flakes. Uh, <laughs> Manning in trouble. Down he goes. Yeah. And again, Kiv known for his offense, but I'm telling you today to maybe end up as king of the B Mountain. It's all about the defense for Kiv. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it, it's been all about defense for him. I, I haven't really been impressed with his offense. I mean, right there, yeah, he had a touchdown on a broken coverage, you know. You just can't miss that when stuff like that happens. But his defense has been unreal. Cribs will get lowered near the 30-yard line. And the Gale Sayers, that has been so great for Draney, was amazing for Joke yesterday. Not really fully engaged quite yet. You'd love to get something besides third and 13 to get Gale Sayers going. Yeah, and right here on this play, look for a hitch. Look, I'm telling you, Drini, he's not a rollout, corner route kind of guy. He's going to look for two post routes, probably just try to choose which one's open. 
Oh, but instead, there's Taylor Mays making plays again. Just, I mean, just that user rush right up the A gap. You know, it's one thing. You know, you see the user rush happen around the side when people try to roll out. But Kiv just had no time to waste. He just didn't want to even drop his user in coverage. He said, I'm going to go get you myself. Worst thing that's oh, happened man. all day is the lavalier mic came off of that <laughs> turtleneck. But otherwise, it's going great right now for Kiv. It's seven. And that Taylor Ma Mays card again. And we've talked about it all day. Kiv says that's his favorite player in the game. The perfect construct of the height and speed. Big guy, hits real well. Yeah, I mean, he's the, he's the perfect card. Everyone loves him. There's a reason why a lot of people have him on, on his team. And Drini, you know, maybe I always thought Drini was a 1-4-6 on defense kind of guy, 2-3-6. I, I, maybe he has lab this defense. Maybe I don't think he's running J. Mills defense. Maybe this is a defense he feels really comfortable versus Bunch. RG3 able to get yeah, it on the run yeah. to Kellen Winslow to move the yeah, chains right at midfield. Yeah. And you hear Kiv, he says, you're not comfortable you're not in this. You're not comfortable in this, which means he, he, he feels like he's Jay Mills, like he's trying to run that defense. And, and then, But I, I, I'm going to say it. I don't think he's running this defense because Jay Mills ran it. I really do think this is Drini's defense right now versus Bunch. It sure did work against Young Kiv, though. Whatever happened in Game 1 today, that was a 6 to nothing final. RG3 about to get mauled, and down he goes. Yeah, I mean, there you go. He sent him. He didn't drop in coverage. Every time Drini has dropped in coverage out of this formation, Kiv has had a great play. Be looking for another just huge blitz right here. Even maybe he even might bring his user just to make sure he gets home. Trying to get home here, but an open man is Torrey Holt. And I know you watched that game just before this one, like I did, Skimbo. Drini and Mills went at it, and Drini was stuck on the CPU defense for a couple plays at a critical moment in that game. Still found a way to make the defense work for him. <laughs> yeah, it speaks wonder to his defense. He's really, really good. Uh, I don't see him blitzing everyone. I can't see play arts. I'm going to assume he drops in coverage right here, knowing he has to get six yards. Possible four down territory anyway, right near midfield. RG3, Serpentines, and oh man, he's lassoed all the way back. Got to get a little read action going here. It is fourth and 20. Uh, it's just Kiv's, he's just so uncomfortable versus Blitz everyone stuff. I mean, these guys are just coming free. I mean, I know User, he's, uh, I mean, User and Drini, those are boys. I know User's yelling, go get them this whole time, but that's just great. Great defense, because I honestly thought Drini was going to drop in coverage, and just, in, instead he decided to send everyone and got home and now has the ball. Both these guys are using a critical player wearing number 20 named Reed. Ed Reed and Justin Reed are both available here. Young Kiv going with Justin Reed. And right now it is Drini down 7-3 to Kiv. We're getting late in the second quarter. Right, as he quick snaps Gale to the right, didn't get a lot. Yeah, um, real quick, I mean, it's just, this is the thing about Drini, even though he's going to go into a shotgun formation, you never know. Versus, with Jay Mills, you knew he's going to run. Joe, Volk, you know they're going to run. With, with Drini, he has a really good run game, but he has that hot route master where he will catch you off guard and throw in some pass plays as well. As we saw when he found Cribs, and that's our one touchdown, 7-3, talking about that one touchdown for Kib. But Cribs is on the field here for Drini now. Let's see if maybe that's the chosen one on a third down and seven. Now going to be a handoff, and Sayers gets close, not all the way there. You're on your own 32. Are you going? It looks like he's going for it. This is a huge play. You're giving Kiv really good field position. If you don't get it, he has a bunch of corner routes and a bunch of flat routes. Here we go. Bang! Got it there to Ross. Move those chains. That is a huge find right there to get that first down. Pretty gutsy by Drini because his offense isn't explosive. He doesn't have a lot of time he's working with to go get field goal range or even a touchdown because he's, you know, he has no timeouts and there's a runoff. If he takes a sack, this drive's just about over. You know, it was that was really risky to be honest to go for that fourth down because the chances of him getting a field goal or, or even a touchdown is so slim. Yeah, no timeouts for Drini. 56 seconds left. And Kiv has been so great defensively all day. Can he Come make a play on. here? Wow, right on the sideline. Oh. 
He just he didn't get his feet in bounds, just barely. But that's what I'm talking about. You got to be careful if you're Drindy Hughes. I mean, honestly, I, actually, I lied. He's already shown that he's a complete gambler. Then he hands the ball off. Oh, it's just I'm really confused right now. You show that you're going for it on fourth down. You try to launch a ball deep, and now you do a handoff. Yeah, and now you're going to give the ball back to Drini right at the very end of the half if you don't convert on third and 12. Got yeah, Watts yeah, out to Kiff. in the yeah, slot on might, the right side. Yeah, he might give the ball back to Kiff for sure. And because, well, he's smart letting this clock run out too before he snaps the ball. And if he wants to run around a bit before throwing the ball, maybe you save it. He'll take it all the way down and take the flag, actually. So now we know what he had in mind. Let's just get out of here. Let's keep it 7-3 to three at the break. Yeah, hey, you know what? It's nice to see a little 10-second runoff right there. You know, you had no timeouts. It's you took a delay of gain. It, it allowed Kibb not to be able to touch the ball. Mm -hmm. Very smart by Drini. Instead of, you know, snapping the ball at 12 seconds, giving Kibb a chance, he took the delay of gain of 10, and then the 10-second runoff really made, the, uh, made it go to the second half. All right, so help me through it here. Mr. I've got three belts. If you've got a 7-3 lead right now, how methodical are you getting it down the field? Do you take any chances, or are you just trying to choose some clock? Uh, it's, it's just this is how this game works, as you see. Perfect play. Streak specialist, Torrey Holt. Um, honestly, if you're Kiv, your offense doesn't change. You're a passer. You're only up four. You're not looking to chew clock. You're looking to score. If you see something open, you're going to throw deep, like right there with that Torrey Holt. Madden belt 19 went to Drini. Madden bowl 18 belt. Well, that went to the other guy with the six here. Winslow will get it down to the 35. Great play. Uh, in this Madden, you've you're, you're got to be a good passer if you're going to send out five routes and make a hot read. So far, this drive gives two for two on making hot reads. Drini sitting at 2 0 in this incredible grouping of four. Amazing Madden players. RG3 escaping and flings it away. Again, a serious Mo in serious trouble. He's the guy that could end up as the guys have been saying Mo and three. Right now, Drini trying to get to three and O oh, and get right on through with the bye. Right, look for Kid to send out all routes right here. I really like the play call though on second and four. You've, th you've shown that you hit underneath, underneath, and now he might take a shot. He's got the sideline route, and there's Torrey Holt. Just perfect, just perfect drive by, by Kiv. This is what you expect. He's mixing in short routes. He's mixing in trying to do coverage beaters. He's really in a zone right here versus defense. He's feeling really, really comfortable now. We have had a pile of 7-3 games. Our score is very similar to that today. Can Kiv pop the lid on this one? No, because Samuels has popped right at the line of scrimmage. Oh, I mean, that's why you don't run the ball versus this defense. That's his first run of the game out of bunch, and you lost five yards. I doubt. I actually know for a fact you probably won't see another run out of bunch like that. Oh, and down goes RG3, who's only had one incompletion all game. Yeah, that's Calvin Johnson doing a dance. Seriously, that 99 Calvin Johnson, a golden ticket card playing on defense. Third and 21. I, I, I can't wait to see what Drini does with his user right here, knowing that if he gets short yards, he's in field goal range. Got to get rid of it, though, and he can't get rid of it. He was in field goal love range. It. He went backwards. I uh. love it. Kiv needed about two yards, I thought, to get in field goal range. I love Drini. He's a gambler, man. He knew it. He doesn't want to give up any points. He didn't care about the first down. He left the post. It was open for a second to jump down, knowing that Kip probably wanted something underneath to get in field goal range. Great user by Drini, jumping that motion over drag, and then finally the defense got home. Two fantastic Madden players in the game of the day, if not the game of the week. And it's going to be a long field for Drini now from his six-yard line down four. Yeah, and this is the spot. If you're Drini, you're comfortable right here. You're only down four. I know you're kind of in your, you know, you are in your own end zone. But to only be down four after how he's played on offense, he just knows somehow, some way, he has to put something together. 
These guys met in the finals twice in 2018 in the challenge and the bowl. And here they are today, Group B of Madden Bowl 20. And again, Skimbo, I got to bring it up. I mean, you go back to 2018. The final scores were 40 to 19 and 28 24 when these two masterminds played. Now it's all about the defense. Same two guys, but our score is 7 to 3. Hey, you know what? I don't. I've heard people think St. Madden looks the same every year. I don't think it looks the same. And I'll tell you right now, it doesn't play the same every year. The game's different. This game, I've I've never been a part of a Madden jump from a year to year where it's changed this much with abilities, play styles, zone plays. I've never seen a jump like this. Well, you get that run defense going the way Young Kiv has. You bring up a third and five, and that's a heck of a player he just tackled there too. We're talking about Gail Sayers. Uh, I mean, look, look at Drini. He's trying to figure something out. He's flipping formations. He's audible into different stuff. He's trying to, he, and this is the thing, he'll freestyle too. He'll, he'll have a bunch of different sets where he has plays. Only bringing three, and it costs him. Gail Sayers is able to get that first down for Drini with a minute to go in the third quarter. Great job by Drini. This is why he's one of the best players, in my opinion, ever, because he's just not one-dimensional. Sometimes I have that problem just running bunch. You know, I'll live and die by it. But with Drini, he mixes it up every year. He'll be in a different formation. He'll run different plays, different route combinations. You just never know what he is going to run on offense. If Drini hadn't completed that skin, boy, he would have been fourth down from his own five or six-yard line. But now he is in business, got a fresh set of downs, timeout taken. What are we doing? Oh, okay. Uh, Drini calls a timeout. I, 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 uh, that's, I don't know how I feel about that timeout. I mean, I, I actually, I don't understand at all why he called that timeout unless he didn't have a player on the field. That, that, that might come back to haunt him. Eli Manning not exactly known for that. We'll go forward for five. Uh, just got busy as we're probably going to go into the fourth quarter. Drini, like I said, he's just trying to audible through stuff and figure it out. Well, take a breath, guys. Everybody in the chat, which way are you feeling it right now? This man's almost out of water, and look how much he started with today. That's the kind of day it's been. And the defense is going to have to keep on getting it done for young Kib. Up against longtime rival Drini. Guys that know each other so well. Heading to the fourth quarter now, brought to you by Creamy Snickers. You're not smooth when you're hungry. Oh, no, no, don't pressure me. This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zeros. Zero. Try this Creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and Creamy Snickers. No one has played more games in MCS tournament history than that guy, Young Kiv. No one has hydrated better ever than we've seen out of Young Kiv today. As for Draney, been there, done that. He's got the belts. He's only 20 years old. And already, he's at $278,000 that he's won in Madden tournament play when we talk about Draney. So, with Young Kiv and Draney at 7-3 into the fourth quarter, Skimbo, if this is a time-consuming drive for Drini, if he can put it in the end zone and milk most of the clock in doing so, maybe he's going to be 3-0 in this group. Yeah, and, and he's going to milk it without even trying. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. That Peppers. user by Young Kim. No, it's the user by Young Kim. He left. He guarded the streak. It was his responsibility. He sees a post. And at the last second, he baits him. Trini had two big plays. And with one user, Young Kim took away both. That is such a high-level Madden play. play. To, to bring up a third and 11 for Eli. Come on! Who will skate what? forward. It's batted away. Uh, I don't. I don't blame Young Kib at all for wanting to pick oh. there. He didn't click on it, didn't hit wide. That was the CPU that just said, I'm going to swat it. He might have could have prevented it. You still want the pick, but I'd like to see him click on right there to try to up his chance. Uh, but, it, you know, and Drini with a smart punt, going to get his defense back on the field. Now as we talk about taking care of the football, keep in mind with Young Kib, he's built to pass and not run, right? I mean, he doesn't have Gale Sayers. He's got Jalen Samuels. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. RG has always said this, and shout out to RG. That's my guy. 
best best commentator announcer, whatever you want to call him. He's the best, man. He really is. That's my that's my that's my dog. But uh, you know, it's hard milking the clock when you're just a passer only. It really is. He always said that about me, and I have to agree. In these situations, we're gonna keep throwing the ball, and something bad can always happen when you put the ball in the air. We'll get you from RG to RG3 right now as Young Kim goes back to work. There's the throw, and he gets it in there to Kellen Winslow. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, I mean, it's a good play. I love it. I, I think you have to get this tight end involved, and he did. And smart, you see him audibly. He's going to try to chew a little clock in this run-heavy formation and hand the ball off to Winslow. We are down under four minutes left. The eagerly anticipated rematch, Drini and Kibb. And Kellen Winslow used as a battering ram, the tight end with a big first down. Yeah, and great job by, you know, young Kibb. Just, he's going to try to work on this clock. That's the only way sometimes to work on the clock for passers is when it's an obvious run play. Yeah, we're going to run the ball, try to get a first down, and take up some clock. And right here, I mean, it's just curious to see how young Kibb, I think Drini really needs to send everyone on defense at him. You brought up a point a few minutes ago. Drini using that timeout. That might be really costly now with, what, 3.15 to go? And back goes RG3, serves it out. There's Ross, and he's got the first down. It might look easy, guys. It really, really might look easy, but making hot reads like that by Young Kip, that's hard to do in this Madden. He has Gunslinger to help him, but windups this year are kind of slow. You, you, you know, defense gets home pretty easy. That's why he put Gunslinger on him. To make reads like that, sending out knowing you're going to get screamed at, that's that's a really he's a, that's that's a really good Madden player to be, be able to make reads like that. RG3, the current Raven, it fires it out of bounds, and I bring up the Ravens because the year Drini was born, that's the year the Baltimore Ravens with Ray Lewis, everybody came together. It was the amazing defense that carried them to a Super Bowl win, and everybody in NFL circles was like, wait a minute, you can only play defense and win? Yeah, and that's true in Madden right now too. That's a look for Krebs. That's a big play to get it inside the 30. Get seven. Great job. I mean, Drini got caught on his DT. He clicked onto someone right when he snapped. He got caught on his DT. Young Kip recognized it. Didn't get blitz at stint. So tall in the pocket. Playmaker him up and found him. Great job by Kip to understand he got caught on his DT. Already in field goal range. Of course, a touchdown is the kill shot. Handoff to Winslow, and it's Ants on a popsicle stick right there. A swarming defense to push him back. I got I to gotta bring it up, Josh. I, I, you're right. You said it just now, and I said earlier. That timeout is really going to cost Drini. It really is. And it was just a pointless timeout. I believe it was the first play out of a quarter. My memory's awful. If you know me, my memory's actually awful, but I believe that's when it was used. RG3 flicks it out of bounds. And again, just to remind everybody, if Kiv can get this done, he'd be the 2 and one guy sitting on top of Drini. And that would be incredible to think that it's possible young Kiv could actually win this division, having started his day with a 6-0 loss. <laughs> You know what they say, it's not its not how you start, it's how you finish. And that is completely the story right here for young Kiv. He's looking to finish off Drini, but Drini's not done yet. Smart. I'm going to say it, Josh. Very, very smart taking a sack instead of throwing it away to let that clock run, and you're going to take a field goal here. Nothing was open. Didn't force it. Took a sack. Went down. Made sure that clock. So now Drini doesn't have that two-minute warning. So he has to go the whole field with one timeout. And I said, and I'll keep saying this, Madden 20 is not like other Maddens. You need a lot of clock. There is a chew clock, and boy, it, it, it'll chew on you pretty fast if you're not careful. One thing that Draney's going to have, he's got lower cap speed guys that can maybe get open for him. He's got Ross, he's got Brown, he's got Cribs. Can Eli Manning get him the ball and do it within a minute 55? 
It's just this is not this is not how Drenny plays. He's a he's he's very clock management guy. He's not a high powered offensive guy. How he's playing this year, he really likes to throw crossing routes and post routes. You know, and and that's the that's the alert that Kib's gonna have. As you see, he's trying to have a run pop off because he knows his pass game isn't made to get a bunch of yards. And if you're a young Kib on defense, he's gonna make sure he doesn't give up a deep pass. First it was Baker, then it was Linval Joseph, and now it is third and eight in a 10-3 game. Can Eli Manning find some magic? No, he can find the ground, and it's fourth and forever, and a timeout taken. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Um, it's just this style. If you take away one post, unless Drini does this play where he has double post, if you just take away that one, nothing really on the field is going to be open, and you're definitely not going to take a hit. That offense is made for short yardage, but if you have a big play, this is 100% the time to use it if you're Drini. Last chance for Drini in the Battle of the Belt winners here, the last two Madden Bowl number ones, Young Kiv and Drini. And here it is. Let's go! Come no on. sale! Down goes Eli Manning. Down goes Draney. Game, set, match, Young Kim. I mean, it's just, I don't know. I don't even know who that DT was, but oh my goodness, the shed he just got and got in there. It, didn't even, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter if someone was going to get open. He had no time. If you're scoring at home, Linval Joseph is the guy that ends up with that sack to tilt the field. 16-yard line, so Kiv can actually pile it on now if he wants to. Shut out in game one. He will end up on top of the mountain, the highest mountain in the entire mountain range. This B group that had 35 total appearances with these four guys. I... I I'm going to say, I think Kivs, I know he wants to try to get more points for point differential because I think he's thinking about uh, maybe Jay Mills, his loss of Jay Mills and stuff like that. But at this point, man, if you throw a pick or do something stupid, I, it's just, it, you're, I don't know. I mean, he knows what he's doing. He's in this position for a reason. But this is really risky, I feel like, if he tries to force something. Let's go! He throws it right where he wanted to, and that will seal the deal. Touchdown, John Come Ross. On. And indeed, young Kim no is able to wave that banner. Josh, I swear these guys hear what I'm saying somehow and just tell me to shut up because, I mean, <laughs> I, I said it the other day. They just need to run the ball. They need to play safe. Take your win. Get out there. Get up two possessions. No, no, man. We're, ju we're just going to throw a touchdown while we're at it. And now he's going go to get, try to go for two, I believe, to even add more. Still so many tiebreaker implications, and nothing is secure yet. That's why we've got James Coe, and we've got User. They will get you up to speed. We've also got, of course, Nick and Ty standing by. They're going to report on what happened in that big game between Mills and Moe. It'll stay 16-3. to And again, Drini, one timeout, somehow needs 14 points to win this game. That just, I don't, it's not going to happen at this point. I mean, you're just trying to get your point differential back. So I think he is still, obviously, he's going to try to, you know, score points. And still, I don't think he'll win the game, but it's big for him to get seven. Here's Snickers replay. John Ross tilting his way into the end zone. And this is the highest scoring game that you and I have had today, partner, believe it or not. We've called a six to nothing. We've called a 13 to six, I guess, right? And... As we look at 16 to 3, I guess that's a tie, right? We got another 19 point game, but isn't that something? I mean, all this firepower, and again, it's all about the defense today. It is. It's crazy. I mean, it's just that's just Madden 20 for you. It really is. These guys have gotten so good with roster building and salary cap. Again, this isn't ultimate team. You guys are watching at home. This is salary cap. They have to really, you know, they have to adjust their team to really fit a certain criteria. As that's a great completion. They have what to fit this team to really fit. And these guys load up on defense. Well, that's the thing. Both these guys are at about 56, 57 percent of their cap on defense and. 15 out of 16 players in this tournament, they went a little more defense than offense, if not a lot more defense than offense. So, yeah, it, it's the, the meta, but, but also I think it's a strategy right now. Everybody pretty much loaded up Let's on go. defense. And there's some defense right there. Uh, and 
Probably a fitting way to end this thing, huh? Yeah, yeah, and Kiv calls a timeout. He wants more points. He, do, he doesn't understand what's going on, and neither do I. He just wants more points. But here's the deal, Josh. In other Maddens, you know, we load up on offense. This is the first Madden in a long time where people load up their cap on defense. That's as emotional as we've seen young Kiv today. So he's 